Hello everyone, my name is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a cron job for your website. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to click on the website and domains tab. And once you are here, you're going to want to click on show advanced operations. And then you're going to want to click on schedule tasks. And here you're going to want to add a new cron job so you click on the system username. Now if you want to set up a cron job for a different user you will basically have to create a different user and then uh, set up that cron job that way. And then click on schedule new task and here you will enter the values of your cron job. So if you're having trouble filling out this form you can use a cron job uh, generator for example. Uh, this is a cron job generator that I found uh, by googling it. It's called uh, generated.net forward slash cron dash job forward slash and then here you just uh, choose uh, your cron job settings and here you would um, enter in uh, the command for example if you're looking to um, um, execute a PHP script you would uh, enter in the path to your PHP script and you will also want to enter in uh, the bin of the PHP uh, here and for example we had zero minutes at uh, for example 2 a.m. in the morning and that's going to be every day um, every month and every day of the week and path of my script. We'll just leave it at that for now. And this is what it would look like. So this would, you would basically enter in, this would be the minute, this would be the hour, this would be the day, This would be the month. And this would be the day of the week. And then this would be the command. Again, remember, uh, this is just an example. If you have a PHP script, you will need to enter in the path to the PHP script. And in order for the PHP script to be executed, you will need to enter in uh, the bin path. Uh, for your P PHP and then you would click on OK and as you can see it will look the same way so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos and while you're at it please visit creatingawebstore.com